So how does one calculate percentiles? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for nine years, and we're here to calculate uh, percentages and percentiles in a very simple fashion. Now, it's easy to convert any number into a percentage number. So here's an example as to exactly how you do it. Suppose you want to convert, let's just say, two-fifths, and you want to figure out what percentage that actually is. Well, you can actually turn it into a cross-multiplication problem, but we'll get to that very, very shortly. What you do is you take any number, and then you want to equal to the percentage fraction. Now, as you know, with any percentage, it's always going to be some number over 100. Now, because we don't know exactly what 2 fifths is in terms of percent, here's how the other side will work. Since we don't know what percentage 2 fifths is, we're going to call the top number, the numerator, x. Now, because the maximum number you should have for a percent is 100, that will be the denominator. Now, you can do that with any number, some number on the left side, and then x over 100 on the other side if you want to calculate the actual percentage. So all you do from here is do the cross-multiplication exercise. Again, with cross-multiplication, you take the denominator on one side, and then you multiply it with the numerator on the other side. So 5 times x is going to give you 5x. And then you take the other denominator, and you multiply it with the numerator on its other side. So 100 times 2 is going to give you 200. So you have a basic algebra equation and then just go ahead and divide by 5 to figure out what x is and you'll find out that x is equal to 200 divided by 5 is equal to 40. But if you take any number, set it equal to x over 100, you should be able to calculate the percentiles, percentages fairly quickly. I'm Jimmy Chang and that is how you calculate percentiles.